Hey everyone, got some footage from Intelligentsia Cup in Chicago and the <laughs> Power Plus Drive surrounding suburbs. Uh, this was the second day in Glen Ellen, second day of the series, first day that I made it to. I just went first Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday at the beginning, so days two through five. Uh, Glen Ellen was a pretty cool course. You see on the bottom there, it's got a lot of corners. This is the first little chicane, pretty tricky. Um, I was racing in the Cat 2 field, which you can see these gaps are opening a little bit. It wasn't the, the best show of cornering all week, but we were less crashy than the pro race, which is not the usual. Usually we're a little more dangerous, more confident than our skill support, I guess, might be the better expression. But there's a little hill here. It's the next interesting feature on the course. And then after the little hill, we're going left, and if you tried to squeeze up the inside, oftentimes it made the corner really tight, but if you swing all the way to the outside, you could carry a lot more momentum up. So then on this back straight, um, coming out of it, there's a little traffic circle we go through, and if you're on the left side, you could hop the curb. Um, I felt like you carried more speed in when you hopped the curb, but you didn't really carry any extra speed out. If people were going really slow, on the road you can make up spots, but it felt like a wash most of the times. So if I was on the left side, I was hopping it just because it felt kind of cool. Um, then this right-hander, and now we're into this fast downhill section. It's pretty wide open across the road here. You had to work pretty hard to be on the front, um, which we'll see was a mistake of mine in the, the next lap. So this is in two laps to go right now. We're going to come through and see one to go. Laps here is very long, not really like a traditional downtown crit course, more of a like out in the park crit, which is, you know, it's fun. It's just a different sort of dynamic. And then, so after we come barreling down that whole hill, uh, we're, you got to throw on the brakes here and there's a, a basically a U-turn. And you can see there's some bad pavement on the inside, curb on the outside. This was a huge acceleration every single lap. Um, even when like people got it right, you know, usually the first couple guys would hammer out of it just to make it hurt further back. And then there's another little rise here. There's also more hills in Chicago than I thought there was going to be. I felt like every day I had at least a little bit of elevation feature. And then we're going to come up into the final left-hander. You can see I was pretty far up, and then all these guys start swarming the front and that moved me a little bit further back. But this lap was so long that I was trying to not worry. My game plan to this point had been sit in as much as possible. I wanted to try to sit in in the top half so that I could take the corners more smoothly, which I didn't do the best job of that at times. I kind of felt, found myself wandering all the way back through the field and then I would come back up through it because it wasn't that hard to move around on this course. And so here I am, one to go, and probably a bit far back. But the whole group is bunching up here, and then once the barriers end, there's the road opens up a lot. And so I was able to slot up the left side here, like exactly where I want to be, basically. And so I was nervous about this chicane. It's a little nervy every lap. There were some people who didn't really care what others around them were doing. They were taking their line, their line only. And there was, we had one crash there but it felt like there should have been more than the way people were riding there. So, still like my spot here, pretty far up. We have this hill. Uh, my game plan coming into this finale was I wanted to lead into that U-turn. Um, I didn't want to hit the front much before the U-turn, but I definitely didn't want to be chasing through it. And so, as we come through this backside here, the guys on the front slow down, and I see this opening on the left, and I get excited, and I just unload it all right here. And I was thinking, like, you know, maybe I can hold this all the way to the line. But I looked back at some point on the straight, saw I didn't have a gap. That was a little curb we were hopping. Left hand, downhill. Pace car guy was getting a little timid here on the last lap. Almost came up to it there. Hammered it out of that corner. There was a lot of people on my wheel still, and I was like very uh, 
emphatically trying to get the guy behind me to come through because I didn't think I could hold this all the way at the line. And I think right about here he finally does. And I saw a gap after the third guy and I tried to uh, get some extra pedal stripping there to catch back on his wheel. And you see that shake of the camera was I struck my pedal on the ground, which like slowed me up for a split second and let a few more people come past. And so now we're coming into the U-turn. I wanted to be like first into this section, but I had already spent my matches and then I kind of goofed when I had my chance to get back in. Um, take the U-turn. I felt pretty good about my line. I just like did not have the snap out of the corner and three more guys come past me maybe. But the legs get going a little better. Another one. Man, yeah. This I was pretty disappointed with this race afterwards. And like watching the footage back is honestly even worse. Wow. Yeah. Didn't have anything left in the legs. It's kinda hot out. Wasn't having it. But I think nobody came past me out of the last corner. I was just bleeding spots into the last corner though. Uh, and I ended up coming back in 12th, which I might have been more excited about that early in the season, but at this point I just wanted upgrade points, so it's kind of top seven or bust. But it was a fun first day, and uh, luckily I got three more chances. And I'll have some more videos for everyone of those other races. So thanks all for watching.